In this video I'm going to be drawing on Bristol paper with my colour pencils and attempting to draw a squirrel. I've not used this type of paper much before at all and I certainly have never attempted to draw a squirrel before so here is my first attempt. If you're new to my channel my name is Helen. I am not at all what I would describe as an artist um, in that I've not had any formal training apart from what I did at school. It's just something I enjoy and have wanting, been wanting to just get back into and just challenge myself to have a go at things because I've really found that unless I just make myself do it I'm never going to get better at it so doing this channel is part of my challenge to myself to improve my art and craft skills. So I hope you enjoy watching as well as hopefully it encouraging you to have a go as well. So here is the squirrel that I tried to draw. I used a source image from a photograph that my husband took at the park during the summer and had a go at trying to copy it. One thing that I would definitely learn from this process is that I need to spend more time on my initial markings and getting the correct perspective and ratios and just things in the right place because I think by the time I'd added more detail to the drawing I'd realised that things weren't always in the correct place. So yeah, definitely think just marking out those places and the shapes and just your I guess the foundations of your drawing just making sure that they're really done well before you start adding detail in. Again like my rose drawing if you've not seen that video this is obviously <laughs> speeded up um, so this actually took me a little over three hours I would say to do this although I did stop and come back um, quite a few times to start with just because each time I looked at it I just thought there's no way I'm going to be able to get this done but yeah just kept coming back to it and having a go and adding little bits at a time to try and improve it. I definitely think it could have done with a bit more work but if I'm totally honest with you I kind of had got a bit fed up with it so it might be a drawing that I come back to a bit later on and having a have a go at or maybe just start from scratch again and, and try again but anyway I will leave you to watch the rest of the video
I was tempted so many times while doing this drawing just to stop and give up and call it a day but I'm really glad that I just kept going and adding to it and it just really helped me to keep going <laughs> knowing that I was gonna have to post this video so in some ways thanks to you guys for all your support and encouragement to help me keep going and just really trying to develop my drawing skills. I must admit though, as I was getting towards the end of this drawing, that probably didn't help that I was a bit tired and hadn't slept well. <laughs> um, but I, I did rush a little bit, especially when I was doing the background. But I, yeah, there was part of me that just wanted to get it finished and probably what would have been a better idea was just to leave it as it was and come back to it another time. But hey ho, that's life, isn't it? Anyway, I think if I was going to do this drawing again, I would spend maybe a little bit more time at the beginning just doing some different swatches and trying out different techniques for the fur and the tail and yeah, just the different areas first and just trying to get my colours matched and things like that before I get started just so that I would know exactly what I was going to use um, because I, I was basically just picking up all my greys and browns and, and hoping that by using most of them that I would roughly get the right sort of colour that I wanted. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this. Please do remember to give me a thumbs up. It really encourages me to keep going and <laughs> trying to produce some work. And please do share this with anyone who you think might appreciate it. And yeah, just once again, thank you so much for watching and hopefully see you again soon.